inside Jackie Kennedy's home at 3017 End Street in Georgetown. In the book, Jackie, Janet, and Lee, the author, J. Randy Terabarelli, states, By early February of 1964, Jackie and her children had vacated the White House and, after a brief time at a temporary residence, were living at 3017 N Street in Georgetown. Lee had found the place for her a good-sized 12-room 18th century colonial house. Billy Baldwin, the Kennedy's designer and good friend, recalled being concerned when he first saw the place, stating, It had been chosen for Jackie with the greatest possible bad decision by her sister. I think the home was designed by someone for purposes of publicity. There was no hope for privacy. It was out in the open, high atop a mountain of steps. When I saw it, it looked like a monument. I thought, why, Lee? Why? Why? Lee's idea was that she would momentarily move into the second floor with Jackie to help out and keep an eye on her. Because Stosh, her husband, had business in New York, the couple was thinking of relocating there. Meanwhile, Lee would be able to spend more time with her sister. Her children, Anthony and Tina, would sleep on the third floor with Caroline and John. The home originally had more trees and foliage around the front yard when Jackie Kennedy was living there. But today, many of the trees have been torn down, exposing the home's classic colonial features. Stepping inside of the home, there is a formal grand entryway flooded with beautiful light with a sweeping grand staircase that rises many floors above. Towards the left of the central hallway opens on to the beautiful sitting room which has two low windows at the front of the house and a large window at the back, flanked by French doors leading to the terrace. The room features a central crystal chandelier and beautiful light flooding in from the windows on either side of the room. There is a large fireplace in the center and built-in bookcases at the back of the room. And here we can see exactly how it looked while Jackie was living there in 1964. To the right of the formal entryway, you're led into the dining room, an open concept space with pocket doors that leads directly into the kitchen. There is a working fireplace, brass chandelier, and gorgeous paned windows. The wood paneling in the room is original and showcases the beautiful craftsmanship of the 18th century. Today, the kitchen has been redone in a modern and sleek way, fit with Carrera marble and white cupboards and cabinets, along with top-of-the-line appliances and a fridge concealed within the cabinetry.
From the kitchen, you enter into the sunken den. This space was redone sometime in the mid-century. It is complete with wonderful warm wood paneling, French doors that open onto the patio, and a beautiful window which lets in an abundance of natural light. The room is fit with built-in bookcases and cabinetry. There was also a TV above the fireplace. Making our way up the stairs, we are greeted by an extraordinary window, practically floor to ceiling in that particular space. The second floor housed the master bedroom, a few ensuite bedrooms, as well as offices and extra rooms. Here, Lee took a bedroom on the second floor while staying with Jackie. On the third floor, the children's bedrooms and the staff's rooms. The third floor housed staff rooms as well as the children's bedrooms. The home was originally built in 1794, with its first residence being John Laird, a wealthy merchant, in 1796, followed by George Peter, a Maryland congressman and War of 1812 commander. Later, William Redden, the first auditor of the circuit court for D.C., bought the home in the 1830s. In 1868, it was used as the Georgetown Female Seminary before being converted back to a private residence. Newton Baker, the U.S. Secretary of War during World War I, lived there from 1916 to 1920. And some 43 years later, it would be Jackie Kennedy's time to move in there after the unfortunate death of her husband. Today, the original home is combined with two others, encompassing a 16,000 square feet residence with 13 bedrooms, 13 full bathrooms, and five half baths, and was recently put on the market, being the most expensive listing in DC, at $26.5 million. Jackie lived in this home before buying her home at 1040 Fifth Avenue in New York City. To tour her penthouse apartment, click the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video where we explored one of Jackie Kennedy's most beautiful Georgetown homes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below telling me your favorite part of this home. I'll see you in the next video.